Hi everyone, in this session we're going to talk about validating responses in LoadComplete 2.5. Validating responses is a mechanism whereby you can ensure that the pages that are coming back from the server are indeed the pages that you expect during the test and not in some error message. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go in and record a quick scenario in load complete. Type in our URL. Hit record. And now we'll bring up the website that we're planning to test. Now that we're here, we'll click on a few tabs. And now we can end our scenario. If we go in and verify the scenario at this point, we see that everything looks good. If you look in the basic quality graph on the top left of your screen, you're going to see that there are no errors being generated. They would show up in red. And all of our requests are coming back green past requests. Now that our verification run has ended, we'll see our report. Everything is green. Take a look at our messages. They all look good. Now if we go back to our scenario, we can bring up our first page that comes back from the server click on our response tab and you can actually see the page itself. On this page you'll see text like our address has changed and that's what we're going to look for each time that we run our test. So we'll create a new item under data selectors and we'll put that text in curve brackets it's going to be saved to variable one now, under variable validation, we're going to put variable 1 and then select our address is changed with no brackets. If we go back and verify the scenario again, we should see the exact same thing we saw the first time. No errors. All of our requests are passed in green life is good. What this is telling you is that load complete is finding that text on the response as it comes back. We see our report, everything looks good. And if we get onto our messages, same thing. But if we now go to our value under variable validation and change what we're looking for, instead of saying our address has changed, we look for our address changed, for example. We should not find that text on the page. And this is simulating what would happen if an error page was generated. You'll notice that immediately upon the start of the test, we're throwing uh, an error. And you'll see that in the red on the top left. If we now go in and take a look at our messages, you'll see that it did not find the value that it was looking for. So this can be very handy um, and an easy way to make sure that you're getting back what you expect.
Now, we'll get rid of that page. We'll go back to our scenario and we'll change the value that we're looking for to the actual value that's on the page one more time. Go to variable validation and change our address changed to our address has changed. Now this is a very simple test. Right now it should be back to all green, um, but you could enter any sort of regex expression that you want and search for things um, that might not be as obvious. It's a very, very powerful mechanism for validating your pages. You can see that everything works again. And that's it. Thank you very much for attending today.